So as you guys may or may not know, I'm a part of Enthusiast Gaming, and what that means is I'm a part of Nintendo Enthusiast, PlayStation Enthusiast, Xbox Enthusiast, and our new site, Enthusiast.gg, which is the accumulation of all of these sites put together in one nice place. And because of that, we get early access to games, and we get games that we can review early for you guys. So if you're not a member of the Enthusiast.gg community, make sure you head over there. I'll have a link in the description. Very easy to sign up. You can even create your own content, so make sure you check it out. But because of that, we get early access to games, like I said. And a couple days ago, Super Mario Maker for the 3DS popped up in my mailbox. And I was excited. Super Mario Maker on the Wii U was one of my favorite games on the system. And I was really excited to check out this portable version of the game because, hey, shrinking it down, putting it on my 3DS, that sounds like a lot of fun. I can create my levels wherever I go. But unfortunately, there's something missing from this game. There is a huge flaw that I don't know if Nintendo was just stupid with this or what, but it's a huge oversight and it really makes what was a great game very mediocre. So let's find out why Super Mario Maker isn't good. So in case you're unfamiliar with Super Mario Maker, basically you're given a template and create your own Mario levels. You can use a graphical style of Super Mario Bros. 1, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, and New Super Mario Bros. U. And all that makes the transition to this version of the game, which is great because that was a really important aspect. Being able to change the different graphical styles was really cool. I really appreciated that in the original Super Mario Maker on the Wii U. And since Super Mario Maker on the Wii U came out a while ago, they added some additional content in the 3DS version, which is great because when a game releases a long time ago, you kind of need another reason to go back and buy it again on another system. And although the Wii U didn't sell well as a console, the Wii U version of the game sold pretty well. So they've included something called Super Mario Challenge, which are all brand new Mario levels and they all have a challenge in them. So something like defeat only Goombas or defeat three enemies in a level. Really cool things like that, and there's a little checklist on it too. So once again, that's very cool. You're seeing that with Yoshi's Woolly World as well. Yoshi's Woolly World is getting a Wii U to 3DS port, and they have added a new character in there. I don't remember his name right now, but that's cool. I don't mind taking Wii U games, making them 3DS games, as long as you're adding in content. That gives people a reason to check the game out again. But there's a problem with Super Mario Maker 3DS. You see, let's take a look at the title. Super Mario Maker. Maker. See, you make your own levels. That's kind of the point of the game, is to make your own levels. And on the Wii U, you could sit there for hours and hours, days, or even weeks, and create your own levels. And make these exorbitant, just crazy levels that only you can beat, and then upload it with the rest of the world for them to check out. But, can you do it in this version of the game? Nope. There's no online level uploading. And that's a huge problem. The only way you can create and share levels with people is to do street pass or to do wireless, local wireless play. So unless you live in a big city, a bustling metropolis, or you have a lot of friends that have a 3DS and are gonna pick up this game, you have no way to share your levels that you created with the world. So that leads me to one question. Why the hell would you make a level in the first place? What is the reason to make a level so that you can play it over and over again? It's gonna be easy for you. You've created a level. You know all the secrets. You know all the ins and outs of it. Like. This is just mind blowing to me. The whole basis, the whole premise of the game is to create your own levels, share your levels, share them with the world. And you can't do that in the 3DS version of the game. So although there is another game mode that's included, the Super Mario Challenge, it doesn't matter because all it turns into is a single player Mario game. And there's so many of those, there's so many better versions of those games that have a little bit of a story, that have unique characteristics, that it makes this game just pointless. It's not terrible because you could still create levels, but you can't share the levels. So what's the point? The gameplay is still solid. The visuals are still really good and you can download a select number of levels. Now in the Wii U version of the game, there's a ton of different levels you can download. You can sort them by popularity, what's new, what's hot, different regions, difficulty level. You can't do that in this version of the game. You get a bunch of predetermined levels for download from Nintendo. Once again, a huge missed opportunity. Why couldn't you just make it so you could take your 3DS version of a level, upload it onto your Wii U, and then upload it onto the server? 
that would at least give you a little incentive to make a level. Now, I know that's not the perfect solution, but it is a better solution than absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I've seen reviews all over the place. High scores, high scores, why? Why, you're taking away the one characteristic, the one aspect, the one driving force to pick up the game, to create your levels and share them. I don't know, it blows my mind that people seem to really like this game because there's not much to like here, unfortunately, when you take away the aspect, when you take away the ability to create and share your levels with the world. So if you wanna check out my full written review, there is a link in the description down below. Make sure you do that. Thank you for checking out this video. Let me know if you plan on picking up Super Mario Maker for the 3DS. Check out other videos on the channel. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And of course, if you really like my face, check out my Patreon. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.